Hello everyone, welcome to Crack You video series. In this video, we are going to discuss Static GK Indian Constitution questions for CHSL and MTS exam 2022. The video is part of our GK video series for CHSL and MTS exams. As we know, CHSL exam going on, it was started from 24th May and it will continue till 10th June. An MTS exam is going to start from 5th July till 22nd July. You can check out the previous year papers for CHSL and MTS on our website that is crackyou.in. We are providing one free mock for CHSL and one free mock for MTS. We are having 15 SSC CHSL latest pattern mocks for Rs. 149 and 15 SSC MTA latest pattern mocks for Rs. 149. All the links are given in description. You can check them out there. Let's start with today's session. Match list 1 with list 2. List 1 is constitutional provision and list 2 is adopted from. So, choose the correct answer from the options given below. The correct answer is D, that is Charter of Fundamental Rights. It is adopted from United States Constitution. Then the second one is the idea of residual power. The correct answer is Canadian Constitution. Third one is the planning commission and five year plans. The correct answer is Soviet constitution. Annunciation of directive principles of state policy. The correct answer is Irish constitution. Article 356 of the constitution of India provides for the correct answer is C that is imposition of president's rule in a state. So, Article 356 of the Constitution of India is based on Section 93. It is based on Section 93 of the Government of India Act 19. Government of India Act 1935. So, uh, Article 356, the President's rule can be imposed on any state of India on the grounds of the failure of the constitutional machinery. The government of India announced a subsidized pricing policy based on nutrients in it of which of the following to protect the interest of the farmers. The correct answer is C that is fertilizer. Which of the following countries has offered an aid of rupees 1200 Road for the second phase of India's universal elementary education scheme, popularly known as Sarva Shiksha Abhyan. The correct answer is E, that is United Kingdom. So, the Sarva Shiksha Abhyan is the flagship program launched by the government of India to achieve the universalization of elementary education in a time bound manner as mandated by the constitution of India. India. By which constitution, amendment act, right to property ceased to remain a fundamental right? The correct answer is A, that is 44th. This schedule of the Indian constitution deal with the administration and control of scheduled areas and scheduled tribes, which is this schedule. The correct answer is A, that is Fifth schedule. So, the fifth schedule of the constitution deals with the administration and control of scheduled areas as well as of scheduled tribes residing in any state other than the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. Constituent Assembly of India was formulated on the recommendation of the correct answer is D that is cabinet mission. So, under the cabinet mission, plan of 1946, election were held for the first time 
for the constituent assembly and the constitution of india was drafted by the constituent assembly and it was implemented under the cabinet mission plan on 16th may 1946 who is custodian of the indian constitution the correct answer is b that is chief justice of india how many fundamental rights are now granted under the constitution of india the correct answer is c that is 6 so the constitution guarantees six fundamental rights to indian citizen that is first one is right to equality second is right to freedom third is right against exploitation fourth is right to freedom of religion fifth one is cultural and educational rights and the last one is right to constitutional remedies so these are the six fundamental rights which of the following statements regarding the direct benefit transfer scheme of the government of india is not true so the correct answer is e that is the scheme is likely to increase the subsidy bill of the government which of the following schemes has not been launched by the ministry of rural development government of india the correct answer is d that is mid day meal scheme the national rural employment guarantee act is now known by which of the following names the correct answer is t that is mahatma gandhi rural employment guarantee act so national rural employment guarantee act 2005 later renamed as mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act it is an indian labor law and social security measure that aims to guarantee the right to work the 8th schedule of the indian constitution deal with dash the correct answer is b that is official language so the 8th language to the constitution of india list the official language of india there are hundred of languages spoken across the country and the 8th schedule recognizes a total of 22 languages as the official languages suspension of fundamental rights during emergency was taken in the indian constitution from the constitution of which of the following countries the correct answer is d that is germany so the concept of suspension of fundamental rights during an emergency was idea indian constitution maker borrowed from germany and this is exactly what was enacted during the emergency of the 1970s article 17 of the indian constitution deals with which of the following the correct answer is a that is abolition of untouchability so article 17 abolition of untouchability is abolished and its practice in any form is forbidden the enforcement of any disability arising out of untouchability shall be an offence punishable in accordance with law which of the following language is not in the 8th schedule of the indian constitution the correct answer is b that is pali which of the following articles of the indian constitution gives the power of parliament for repealing a law the correct answer is d that is article 245 so article 245 of the constitution 
विच गिव पार्लियामेंट द पावर टू मेक लॉस ऑल्सो गिव द लेजिस्लेटिव बॉडी द पावर टू रिपील दैम थ्रू द रिपीलिंग एंड अमेंडिंग एक्ट इन द एक्ट वॉज फर्स्ट पास इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वेन सेवेंटी टू एक्ट वर रिपील विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर्टिकल्स ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गिव द पावर टू प्रमोलगेट ऑर्डिनेंसेस द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी दैट इज आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी थ्री सो आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ग्रांड्स द प्रेसिडेंट सर्टन लॉ मेकिंग पावर्स टू प्रमोलगेट ऑर्डिनेंसेज ड्यूरिंग द रिसेस ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एंड दीज ऑर्डिनेंसेज हैव द सेम फोर्स एंड इफेक्ट एज एन एक्ट ऑफ पार्लियामेंट बट आर इन द नेचर ऑफ टेम्पररी लॉज इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अ फीचर नेम इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द जुडिशरी वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी दैट इज यू एस यू एस इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अ फीचर नेम इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द जुडिशरी वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम यू एस कंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉट इज द मैक्सिमम सिटिंग पोटेंशियल ऑफ राज्य सभा अकॉर्डिंग टू द आर्टिकल एट्टी ऑफ द Indian Constitution. The correct answer is E. That is two fifty. So the potential sitting capacity of the Rajya Sabha is two fifty according to Article eighty of the Indian Constitution. Hope this video will help you in your preparations. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment to our channel. Press the bell icon for instant notification. Thank you. All the best.